1 plus 5. No, this is in math class. It's one of the most highly anticipated smartphone releases of 2017. OnePlus made a name for itself by bringing high-end specs at a low price, and now its latest creation is finally revealed. Hey guys, I'm Will for GSM Arena, and this is our review of the OnePlus 5. The OnePlus 5 is built from aluminum, which is anodized for a shadowed look. Ours is the midnight black version, and it has a sleek matte finish. It does a really good job at masking fingerprints, but the metal body can be a bit slippery in the hand though. The back design looks a lot like the iPhone 7 Pluses. We have the dual cameras, and the antenna bands have the exact same style. The shape is different though, and they feel a lot different in your hands. The OnePlus 5 has a tapered back, and a sharp edge along the sides which makes it easier to handle. The iPhone has a flat back, and the sides are more rounded. Unlike the iPhone, the OnePlus 5 does have a 3.5mm jack for your headphones, but unfortunately it doesn't have any dust or water resistance, so be extra careful. The fingerprint reader is front mounted and always on, and it's lightning fast, and is surrounded by backlit navigation keys which are customizable. Like previous OnePlus phones, there's an alert slider which allows you to quickly control sound notifications. The OnePlus 5 has a dual SIM slot, meaning that you can have two numbers on the same device. Without a microSD, it's a good thing this phone comes with plenty of internal storage. We gave the bottom facing speaker a loudness rating of very good, a notch better than last year's model. We do wish we had stereo speakers though. The 5.5 inch AMOLED display has a full HD resolution. It has good brightness and decent sunlight legibility. Plus there's the amazingly deep blacks that you get with an AMOLED. The default color mode isn't particularly accurate. Good thing there are dedicated sRGB and DCI-P3 modes as well, so you get the option of accurate color rendering. There's a cold warm slider too, and auto night mode changes the color temperature based on the time of day, as well as the level of ambient light. And there's a reading mode that uses grayscale and adjusted brightness. It makes reading easier, sort of like on a Kindle. At the heart of the OnePlus 5 is a Snapdragon 835 chipset with either 6 or even 8 gigabytes of RAM. This helped the OnePlus 5 achieve top scores across the board in our benchmark tests. You really notice the speed when browsing or opening apps. The OnePlus 5 runs Android Nougat 7.1 with its own Oxygen OS on top. It's not too intrusive and adds a handful of cool features. App Priority learns which apps you use the most and sets aside more resources for them. It does the opposite with apps that you don't really use in order to save energy. The secure box is a password protected space for files that you want to keep safe. Do Not Disturb allows you to play games without worrying about notifications or accidentally pressing the home and hardware keys. And there are customizable gestures which can be assigned to different functions or apps. For battery life, the OnePlus 5 is much better than last year's model when it comes to web browsing and video use, but with more drain during calls and standby, the overall battery endurance is the same. If it's low, you can use OnePlus's dash charge to get back up and running. A day's power in half an hour. Sort of. It's more like half the battery in half an hour. The OnePlus 5's dual camera setup consists of a 60 megapixel main cam and a 20 megapixel second cam with a telephoto lens. The autofocus is fast, much faster than the OnePlus 3T. Behind the scenes, an improved HDR adjusts itself for backlighting and shadows, and Smart Capture improves your photos by stacking together multiple shots to remove noise. Image quality is very detailed, with wide dynamic range and vibrant colors. There was some visible noise though. In the dark, an f1.7 aperture in the main cam helps to let in more light for nighttime shots. They're not bad, but did have more softness and noise than the Galaxy S8. Colors were well preserved though. The f2.6 telephoto lens takes photos at a 2x lossless zoom, and you can go up to 8x if you want. The photos are somewhat noisy though, and not as detailed as you'd expect from 20 megapixels. The colors are also kind of oversaturated. In portrait mode, the telephoto helps to create a blurred background behind your subject. The effect is good. It's not quite as blurry as on the iPhone 7 Plus, but it does have a wider angle. Busy scenes might confuse the effect though. For selfies, there is a 16 megapixel front camera. 
Selfie quality is quite good, with a lot of detail, high dynamic range, and accurate skin tones. There is no portrait mode for selfies though. 4K videos are awesome on the OnePlus 5. They're super sharp and detailed, with natural colors and good contrast. 1080p videos are good, but not as detailed as we would expect, and we did notice some cropping issues with the viewfinder. The always-on electronic image stabilization was sometimes a bit laggy too. But in any case, the noise-canceling microphones make for better audio quality in your recordings. At around $500, the OnePlus 5 is not exactly a budget phone. But like its predecessors, it's cheaper than most of the other flagships out there. It does sort of take after the iPhone, but it has its own special charm. Plus, it's available worldwide, so it looks like OnePlus has the winner for yet another year in a row. Thanks for watching. Find out more about the OnePlus 5 at gsmarina.com.